At his practice at Jesmond in Newcastle, orthodontist Guy Deeming is among those who've seen a surge in people willing to pay the price for the perfect smile. Braces and teeth whitening all aimed at improving confidence. I've been practicing for 12 years in the Northeast and the last three years it's exploded. So in the last three years we've seen a doubling of our adults coming forward to have treatment, um, which has been an extraordinary change considering the gradual growth prior to that. One study claims three quarters of orthodontists have reported an increase in adults taking up treatment, with most patients, 80% of them, in the 26 to 55 age brackets. Patients across the country, just like Jenny, who's having a brace fitted today. She wants perfect teeth in time for a big birthday. Say it quietly, she'll be 50 soon. I did have a brace um, when I was 18, so nearly 30 years ago and I had a beautiful smile as a result, um, but I had a relapse in my mouth, so one of my teeth started to move and then a couple of the others did. I've been really excited about today, just really looking forward to, to getting it done. She'll have braces for around a year, but it's not just women who hope for Nita Nashes. More men are signing up too. I don't think there's um, the same sort of stigma that is attached to people wishing to better themselves. So something that may previously have been thought of a vanity project is considered quite every day these days. It's quite acceptable to want to go to the gym, to run triathlons, to better yourself physically. And so I think people have taken that same attitude to way, the way they look. So is it social media and a host of celebrities with perfect pearly whites that are bringing more people through the dentist's door? Come on down, we'll go to the surgery. Happy Monday's frontman and I'm a Celebrity star Sean Ryder is among those who've transformed his smile, first with veneers and then implants. But it wasn't cheap, costing him upwards of £30,000. I wouldn't smile. You see a lot of old photographs where I'm like that. Ah. Not because I'm, I'm moody, it's because you're totally embarrassed of your, your teeth, you know. Everyone wants a good set of Newtons. You know, it makes you very confident. The British Orthodontic Society say prices for cosmetic improvements can vary widely. But for so many wanting straight teeth, it seems they're more than willing to put their money where their mouth is. Matt Price, ITV News.